It feels like I get informed every day that Ansel Keys cherry-picked the countries that he studied. This clip comes from an episode I made about the craziness of the fad and money-fueled American diet book market. The two main characters in the clip, Mark Hyman and Nina Teicholz, are both best-selling authors and master storytellers who have a lot to say about Ansel Keys. And he was easily the most influential, he still is the most influential nutrition scientist in the history of nutrition science. Nina is the founder of the Nutrition Coalition and Mark Hyman is on the board. It's funded by an Enron billionaire in Texas and the group's only activity is lobbying and PR for the beef and dairy industries. Neither Mark or Nina has ever been involved in nutrition research. Here's the clip. One of the cornerstones of Nina and Gary's story is Ansel Key's cherry-picked countries that fit his hypothesis. They reference this graph that he presented at a hospital in 1953. Here's Mark Hyman buying that story. Keyes was determined to prove himself right. He followed up with his famous seven-country study we traveled to the countries cherry-picked from his graph. He repeated the same mistake. I mean, he cherry-picked his country. He chose six countries for that perfect correlation. And at the time, there was data available for 22 countries. All it would take is a quick click to the seven countries website to see he didn't go to Canada, Australia, England, or Wales. What they were complaining about is four years after Ansel published his 1953 chart, two statisticians published data from the UN for 22 countries that looked like this. And when you put in all of those countries, it just looked like a scatter plot. The trend line is nowhere near as clear cut. There was no clear relationship. No correlation between fat and heart disease. Any high school student can see that Nina was making that up. There is more scatter, but an obvious strong correlation. Since the two men who published the data were statisticians, they reported correlation coefficients. 0.587 for fat overall, pretty strong. Animal fat had a stronger coefficient, 0.677. And notice vegetable fat had a negative correlation, meaning it was associated with lower heart disease deaths. Had this UN data been able to separate fish animal fat from land animal fat, like the seven country study was able to do which came later, the animal fat would have shown an even stronger coefficient. And that's because fish are cold-blooded and will turn into solid bricks unable to swim in cold water if they had a lot of saturated fat. That's true of water snakes whose oil is like fish oil. So if Ansel was left with only three countries from his 1953 graph and data was available for 22, how did he pick the other four? The scatter is scientifically interesting. Why is Finland way over there? Why is the Netherlands way over here? One country they picked was Finland because they found a cold area on the Russian border that had the highest heart attack rate in the world. 10x the Japanese areas they studied. One was eating meat and dairy and the other fish and veggies. Ansel explained in his book that a difference of that magnitude was crucial for the study design. It is what made the smoking studies that were going on at the same time so definitive. Even though critics pushed back on those studies for decades too, claiming you can't learn anything from observational studies. How can you explain all the people who have smoked for 20 years and who feel and look great? They picked the Netherlands, which was far off the line in the other direction. And then they did something extremely important. They picked two countries for which they didn't have data, Greece and Yugoslavia. That introduced some blinding into the study. Ansel wrote in his book, the information about the selection of the areas is offered to counter why do scientists write in passive voice? Unfounded suggestions that the cohorts were chosen on the basis of prior knowledge that promised to support a hypothesis of a causal link between diet and incidence of heart disease. Little did Ansel know that after his death, American book authors would make up a story about cherry picking and Americans would be tricked by the fib. Speaking about making stuff up. But he did not go to countries like Switzerland, France, Germany, who ate a lot of saturated fats and also had very low rates of heart disease. The French were eating all kinds of saturated fat, butter, cream, and they weren't gaining weight, which was a paradox at the time, and they weren't getting heart disease. They had like half the rate of heart disease compared to Americans. And everybody said, well, what a paradox, what a paradox. There was no paradox. Uh, the, the dietary fat simply wasn't causing obesity and didn't cause heart disease. I wonder if Jason and Nina actually read the 22 country paper they're referring to. Here's France on the graph. They were less than 30% fat intake and clustered among neighboring countries like Germany and Switzerland. Notice that the Netherlands, which Ansel did pick, is scattered further off Ansel's line with higher fat and lower heart disease than France, clustered around countries like Norway. 
To this day, France has a higher obesity rate than countries like Italy and the Netherlands. And France has initiatives to reduce saturated fat consumption, like from palm oil. That footage made it look like the study areas were metropolitan. Say again? French fries, they're not French. French fries are not French? I like how you said that with passion. And French fries, they are not French. <laughs> Trevor, I have to tell you all of these secrets. The French fries are not French. <laughs> but the study areas were actually poor and rural, which was critical to the study design. The poor Finnish lumberjacks on the Russian border were not sneaking out to the sushi bar at night, nor the poor fishermen in Japan hitting the steakhouse. Another advantage to these small rural cohorts of middle-aged men is they were stable so they could be followed for 50 years. And having 16 cohorts across the seven countries showed how different the dietary pattern is in different areas of the same country like Eastern and Western Finland. So the morals of the story are one, if he had only chosen from the 22 countries, that would have been cherry picking because there are 200 countries to choose from. Two, if he had only used countrywide data like the 22 country study did, that would have been a gross distortion. For example, up by Normandy where they eat a lot of beef and dairy, they have four times the heart attack rate as they do in the south of France where they eat more fish and vegetables. And three, we're all understandably skeptical about industry-funded studies, as we should be. But accepting information from a dark money-funded lobbying group is a whole nother level of corruption. If you like what I do with these clips, please subscribe. Thank you so much.